Hey guys, it's Eric from Pixel Planet Studios, and today we're gonna to be setting up network rendering for both Octane Render Standalone and Cinema 40. Let's get started. So the major benefit of Octane network rendering is speed. If you go ahead and add a second render node, uh, it will cut your render time in half with the same card. And the other benefit is if you're in a small studio with multiple workstations that aren't being used on nights and weekends, you can improve your pipeline by utilizing those machines uh, while everyone's out of the office. So in order to take advantage of network rendering, there's a couple things you need to get started. The first would be at least two or more computers uh, with available graphics cards for you to harness. For network rendering on Octane, you need CUDA cards, which means NVIDIA cards, and then also an active Octane license. Now there's currently two options on Octane's website. So if you have a studio license right now, you do have a limit of two GPUs. And if you have an enterprise license, you have up to 200 GPUs. Now, if for some reason you have 200 GPUs, this video is not for you. We're gonna be showing how to use network rendering in both the standalone and Cinema 4D uh, version. So I have at least one of those installed. And lastly, I would recommend using the NVIDIA Studio drivers and not the Game Ready drivers. And just make sure you're up to date on those. All right, so we'll start by downloading the Octane Render Node from Otoy's website. So go to home.otoy.com, click on Downloads, and then we're gonna select our operating system of Windows and our version, which we'll be using 2020.2.3. And for software, we're gonna select Enterprise Render Node. All right, hit Download. Once that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and run that installer. All right, that installed very fast. Let's go ahead and find that application. Program Files, Otoy, and then what we just installed was Octane Render Enterprise Network Render Node, and with the version 2020.2.3. All right, so we're gonna click on Install Daemon. Uh, this luckily walks you through most of the process, uh, but the first thing is choosing your port. This number needs to be the same on all of your network render computers, uh, but for right now we'll use the default of 48000. On this system we have one graphics card, so we can hit enter to use the default, uh, which is all graphics cards available. Uh, if we had more GPUs in the system, we could select them individually by entering their index value. Uh, next is out-of-core textures. Now this allows you to access RAM for scenes that are larger uh, than your graphics card's VRAM allows. In order to use this, we need to enter the amount of RAM we want to use. Uh, in this case, we want to use 32 gigabytes. Uh, and then these are the values we've entered, and everything looks correct, so we'll hit Enter. With that installed, we're going to create a desktop shortcut for our render node by right-clicking on Run Daemon, and then Create Shortcut. By default, this daemon will actually launch on startup, uh, but if you disable that, this shortcut will allow you to launch it without digging through program files. Now, I've already logged into my Octane license on this machine, but if you haven't before, it may ask for your Octane login information. All right, so we've gone ahead and installed render nodes on a few of our available systems. As you see here, we have our primary node, and, and that's the workstation that I'll be operating from, uh, as well as several render node computers with various graphics cards. Uh, and for this demo, we've enabled all of these systems for network rendering. All right, so to get started in Octane Standalone, go ahead and launch your app. Uh, make sure that you're using the same version as your render nodes. Up here, you can see 2020.2.3. And I've created a basic scene for this demo that I'm gonna open. Now to enable network rendering, go ahead and go to File, Preferences. On the left, select Network Rendering. And then we're gonna click Enable Network Rendering and make sure that the port number is the same as your render nodes. And now your available render nodes will appear in a list at the bottom of this window. And we're gonna make sure that they're all enabled. All right, now I'll hit render. And once that starts, you can see that we're using six of six GPUs uh, from three different render nodes. Uh, now let's hop over to Cinema 40 and show you how it works there. Uh, with the same demo scene loaded, uh, there are two ways to render uh, with Octane network rendering in this application. The first is to use Live Viewer. Uh, so we'll go to Octane Live Viewer window. Let's reposition this. Uh, then go to Options, Network Rendering, and Settings. And just like in Standalone, uh, we're going to click Enable Network Rendering. Make sure that you're using the same port number as the render nodes. And your available nodes will appear in the list at the bottom of the window. We're going to make sure that they're all enabled, and then click Close. And now when we start the Live Viewer render, uh, at the bottom we're seeing the Network Render GPU count just as before. All right, so the second way to use network rendering in Cinema 4D is uh, through Picture Viewer or the Render Queue. Uh, very similar, we're gonna enable this by going to Render Settings, click on Octane Renderer, and then go to Network Rendering and enable the checkbox. Inside those settings, you have the same options as before, so we'll make sure everything's enabled and we'll hit Close. 
And now when we launch the picture viewer, you can see the network GPU list is here as well. Thanks for watching and throw a comment below if you have any questions about what we covered today, as well as what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.